Resident Evil has been around for over 28 years now, and it has inspired some of the best survival horror games of all time. It's safe to say that Resident Evil itself is pretty iconic, but today, we're going to be looking deeper into Resident Evil and their enemies, and we're going to be breaking down the top 10 most iconic monsters in Resident Evil. We're going to be looking through the entire franchise of Resident Evil and all their games to try and pull out some of the most memorable and terrifying monsters to compile a top 10 list. Some of these creatures in this list will be ranked on their design and the impact that they left on the rest of the Resident Evil franchise. This list is completely compiled together by myself, so let me know down in the comments if you guys end up agreeing or disagreeing with my list. So, starting off at number 10 on this list, we have the Ganados from Resident Evil 4. The Ganados names translated in Spanish actually means cattle or livestock, but it's definitely safe to point out that all of their dialogue is in Spanish, which makes sense for their setting being in Spain. And because of this section of Resident Evil 4 right here, I feel like most people, even including myself, call the Ganados the villagers. Even when you reach the castle area, I like to call those Ganados the castle guards. Let me know down in the comments if I'm the only one that does that. But one thing's for certain, any section you are in of Resident Evil 4, the Ganados are always going to be there. Resident Evil 4 went on to be one of the most iconic Resident Evil games in the entire franchise, and therefore the Ganados are going to go down in this list as one of the most iconic monsters in Resident Evil. Coming in at number 9 is the Bandersnatches from Resident Evil Code Veronica X. As far as I can remember, the Bandersnatches only appear in this game but it's very unfortunate that they do only appear in this game. Resident Evil Code Veronica was one of the first Resident Evil games that I was introduced to at a young age, and the Bandersnatches always stood out to me as one of the most terrifying monsters in the entire game. Looking back on it now though all these years, I can actually give a lot of credits to the developers of this game just for the way that they designed these Bandersnatches and just for the unique way that they look so much more terrifying than the hunters and the liquors of Resident Evil. Maybe if they remake Code Veronica we'll get to see some more Bandersnatches, but for now, they're gonna make number 9 on this list of most iconic monsters. <laughs> The Crows are going to be making their way into number 8 on this top 10 list of most iconic monsters. The Crows have been around since the very first Resident Evil game in 1996 and they appear in all of the classic Resident Evil games including up until Resident Evil 4. It's good to point out that the Crows in the first three Resident Evil games are infected with the T-Virus because of the outbreak in Raccoon City so those crows actually tend to attack you, whereas when you play Resident Evil 4, you're in a different location, set in Spain, so therefore those crows aren't infected with the T-Virus or anything for that matter. Which perfectly explains why those crows in Resident Evil 4 don't attack you. Resident Evil was inspired to do the infected crows because of the movie The Birds by Alfred Hitchcock, so, the crows are actually a lot more iconic than what you might think they are. But let's move on to number 7. At number 7, I put the Drain Demos, and as far as I thought when making this list was that I thought the Drain Demos appeared in Resident Evil 1 and 3, 
But looking back on it, the Drain Demos might have not been in Resident Evil 1, and those might have been enemies called the Brain Suckers. Either way, the Drain Demos are definitely uniquely terrifying monsters in Resident Evil 3, and in my opinion, I think they're even a bit more terrifying in the original Resident Evil 3. Don't get me wrong, they're really gross and little looking in the Resident Evil 3 remake, which reminds me of spiders quite a lot, and that doesn't sit right with me. But I think the Drain Demos in the original RE3 take a lot more damage and conserve a lot more of your ammo, that's for sure. Another cool little thing to point out about the Drain Demos is that in the original Resident Evil 3, you can actually get them to lay eggs and have baby Drain Demos. Which, I've played the game a lot in my day, but I have never seen that, and I only know of this through other YouTubers, like Ink Ribbon, who have actually showcased this before in their videos. But, the design of the Drain Demos are really scary looking, and I would have to say that they fit in the number 7 spot because they're very terrifying, and they're very iconic in the Resident Evil franchise. <laughs> At number 6, I have, in my opinion, one of the most terrifying things that you can run into in-game or IRL, the spiders. I have always been truly terrified of spiders my entire life, and it could be thanks to moments like this in Resident Evil. It's a shame that the spiders haven't been introduced in a Resident Evil game in a while, and they haven't even been included in the recent Resident Evil remakes, but it's definitely safe to say that these spiders are certainly an iconic monster that goes back to the original Resident Evil games. It can always be quite annoying to actually have to run into a spider and then get hit with its acid and have to go around the game looking for a blue herb. I would give the spiders an extra point for that in terms of being iconic because they change the way that the game is played in the classic Resident Evil games, forcing you to actually have to carry around and think about using blue herbs. As a fan of Resident Evil, I can agree with the rest of the community that they need to bring back the giant spiders in the remakes of Resident Evil. It would definitely trigger some arachnophobia for me if they did include some spiders in the remake with better graphics and whatnot, but I think it would be best for them if they did, because all of us want to see the spiders. Oh boy, coming in at number 5, we have the Lickers, which first appeared in Resident Evil 2. The original Resident Evil 2 was the first Resident Evil game that I ever discovered, so for me that game has always felt like an instant classic, and the Lickers are also going down in that category as being a classic enemy and certainly is an iconic monster for that matter. The Licker gave us one of the best jump scares, in my opinion, of the entire franchise with the two-way mirror jump scare in the original RE2. Ever since the appearance of the Lickers in Resident Evil 2, they definitely left quite a bit of a statement in the entire franchise, and it was pretty cool to see their return in RE5 because it felt like they hadn't been used in quite some time at that point. And after RE5, we haven't seen a new storyline in Resident Evil where the Lickers have been used, besides RE2 and RE3 Remake, of course. I'd love to see them return, but for now, they're gonna make number 5 on this list. Coming in at number 4, we have the Cerberus, even though I've always liked to call them the Zombie Dogs. Whatever you go on to call them, they are definitely one of the most iconic additions to Resident Evil and the entire franchise, going back all the way from the very first game in 1996. 
And of course, as a lot of you may know, they appear in almost every Resident Evil game and almost every single mainline Resident Evil game besides Resident Evil 7 and 8. I like the way that they made the dogs look in Resident Evil 4 and 5, especially when they got to the point where they were like split head dogs. I think that's definitely one of the most badass versions of the zombie dogs, but it is definitely a guarantee that they're one of the most iconic monsters. And speaking of one of the most iconic monsters, coming in at number 3, we have the Hunters. The Hunters as well as the Cerberus go all the way back to 1996 with the very first Resident Evil game ever made. I would like to say that the Hunters are a bit more advanced than the Lickers because I think they do a bit more damage and they are probably a little bit quicker than the Lickers as well but I'm not too sure about that. They could be about even. Regardless, the Hunters are more OG than the Lickers, so the Hunters are gonna make their way into the number three spot on this list. One thing that's pretty cool about the Hunters and their history is that they've gone through a bit of a change and they've had versions of themselves where they have poison instead and they also have had the, of course, Hunter Gammas that appear in Resident Evil 3 Remake. Coming in at number 2 is none other than the Tyrants of Resident Evil, which serve as the OG boss battles of the RE franchise. Back in the day, with the classic Resident Evils, nothing was more menacing or terrifying than the Tyrants, as they all served as the final boss fights. I would say that I guess in RE4 you could count the Big Cheese as a Tyrant as well, or also Wesker in RE5 I guess could be considered a tyrant, or of course Jack Baker in RE7 could also be considered a tyrant. But one thing's for certain is that the OG tyrant along with Mr. X and Nemesis served as the first couple of final boss fights in the RE franchise. That will give the tyrants number 2 on the list of the most iconic monsters of all time. Who would have guessed that the most iconic monster in all of Resident Evil is the zombies? When making this top 10 list, I felt like this number 1 spot was quite obvious from the start as the zombies appear in literally every single Resident Evil game ever made besides RE7 and RE8. Nothing is more classic or iconic than that very first zombie head turn that we get in the very first Resident Evil game, but one thing is for certain is that every time you start a Resident Evil game, the first thing you're going to see or encounter is most likely going to be a zombie. I mean, if it wasn't for the idea of zombies in the first place, which, shout out to George Romero, then we wouldn't have a game like Resident Evil, to be honest with you guys. No zombies equals no Resident Evil, so that just gives it out right there that the zombies are clearly the most iconic monster of the Resident Evil franchise. The last time we saw the zombies in a new Resident Evil storyline would have been Resident Evil 6, so maybe for the better sake of the Resident Evil characters, the zombie virus is done, and now all they have to deal with is molded and lichens. <laughs> but there we have it, that concludes the top 10 most iconic monsters in Resident Evil.
Like I said in the beginning, this list was made together by myself, so I would love to know if you guys think I did a good job or not, so go ahead and go down in the comments and please let me know if I missed anything or if there was anything that you guys disagree with. For those of you that are new here, I post Resident Evil Reverse gameplay daily, so make sure you guys hit subscribe so you guys can catch some Reverse gameplay every single day. I also plan to work in some more top 10 and tier list content like this into my daily upload schedule, so make sure you guys hit subscribe and hit the bell if you're interested in that. Peace guys.